In this presentation we're going to look at probability distributions and in this particular case what we are looking at is a continuous probability, just joint uh, continuous probability distribution, my pen is all over the shop, joint uh, continuous, a joint, a joint distribution of two continuous random variables essentially. So um, a certain factory produces two kinds of products in any given day, widgets and gizmos. Okay. Now let these uh, two kinds of products be represented uh, by the random variables x and y. So x for widgets, uh, y for gizmos. Given that the joint probability density function of these variables is given by such and such, what we're asked to do is answer these questions. Okay. So that's the joint uh, probability distribution. That's quite important. Okay. Uh, so just to sort of, uh, for the sake of clarity, I'll write it down here at the bottom again. So it is two thirds of x plus two y for x less than or equal to one and y less than or equal to uh, between zero and one. That's a little bit out of shot there. I'll bring that back into shot and zero elsewhere. Okay. Okay. So what we're asked to do is find the marginal PDF. That's the probability uh, density function of x and similarly do the same thing for y. PDF is probability density function. So how do we do that? Well what we do is so uh, find the marginal PDF of x so we're going to call this g of x just to sort of not be using the same letters all the time. But this is We're just going to call it g of x that's a g there. Oh. g of x is the integral from minus infinity to infinity. This is just the general expression of x, y, d, y. Okay. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll actually just uh, go to the next page and what I'll do here is we're going to call this h of y. Okay. This is the marginal of the PDF of y. h of y is the from minus infinity it is the integral of the joint PDF with respect to x. Okay, sorry, I just got to sort of highlight that fact. Here, the g, the the probability density, uh, the marginal PDF of x is the uh, integral of the joint distribution with respect to y. The PDF of y is a joint is a integral of the joint distribution with respect to x. Just watch out for that. Uh, it's very easy. You can get them mixed up. That's very important. So anyway, uh, let's do it so. Uh, let's go down here, make some space. So let's actually sort of uh, calculate this out. Uh, what we're going to do here is, I'm just going to restate the uh, limits because we don't have to go from um, uh, infinity to minus infinity. We can go from zero to one because we're told that in the question. Okay. So this is the integral of two thirds x plus two y dy okay and that is equal to two over three so what we're integrating here is x we've we're just we we separate out the two thirds separately okay we'll just take that out of the our equation so what we're doing here is integrating x with respect to y and then two y with respect to y and that is xy plus 2y squared over 2, okay, uh, integrated from 0 to 1. But the 2x squared over 2 is essentially cancels out, so 2x squared over 2, there we go. So that's what we have to do there. Uh, we let y equal to 1. That, let's actually be sort of a bit clear about this. We're integrating uh, with respect to y not with respect to x, so just be a little bit clear about that. And so it is two thirds of x times one, so that's x, plus one squared, that's one, okay, minus two thirds uh, zero, minus zero, or zero plus zero, okay. So Anyway, so 
sorry, I've got to try not to cough there. So the answer essentially is that. Okay, it's two thirds of x plus one. Now, same thing for y. H of y equals two thirds. Let's just take out that uh, constant term, and also we're evaluating from zero to one. So it is not. Uh, it is with respect to x. Where this integral is being calculated with respect to x. It is. Let's do it again. Two thirds. Uh, so that's been taken out of x plus two y dx. Okay, and that is equal to two thirds of uh, x squared over two plus two x y from zero to one. Okay, uh, calculating that out, we would get two thirds of. Oh, by the way, sorry. Let's be absolutely crystal clear here again. This is x equal to one, x equal to zero. Okay. Uh, when we were dealing with like two different uh, variables, or integrating with respect to two different variables, it just might be a little bit. Ha uh, it might be just a smart thing to do. Just be very much more clearer about what you're integrating there, just for your own sake. So that's one half plus two uh, y minus two thirds uh, zero plus zero. So we just disregard that second part altogether. That just cancels it to zero. So the answer is. 2 over 3 uh, uh, times 1 half uh, plus 2y. You could sort of like uh, go a little bit further and uh, state it as 2 thirds of 1 half is 1 third plus 4 over 3y, something like that. I'll tell you what, we leave it as it is. You can sort of like uh, uh, bring the cancel out that 2 thirds into it. So, what we're going to do now is find the probability that x is less than or equal to half and y is less than or equal to half. So what we got to do here is two integrals, okay? So that is, how do we calculate that? That is a double integral. So um, both with respect to these limits, okay, not 0.5 and not 0.5. The uh, x two thirds of x plus 2y dx dy okay now I'll just be clear about this this limit here we're, well I'm just sort of doing it in the order presented it, it shouldn't really matter but we're going to put a uh, differentiate with respect to x first okay so that's an integral with respect to x and that's the limit corresponding to that uh, value there and then the other then what we will do is differentiate that with respect to y our outcome okay and this half here is from uh, y is less than or equal to half that's let's be very clear about that okay so this uh, 0.5 here is coming from here this 0.5 here is coming from x less than or equal to 0 0.5. So just be very clear, uh, careful about that, just in case you get different numbers. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do this first. It's a double integral. Okay. And I've just sort of scrubbed out some of my work, 0 0.5. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do the inner part first. Okay. And that is uh, two thirds of x squared over two plus two x y. Okay. Evaluate from zero point five to zero. Okay. So this is just what uh, the this is just what's inside that red area there. Okay. And that would work out to be not point. Oops, gone too far. Uh, 
uh, 0.5 squared over 2 plus uh, 2 times x is just simply 1, so it's simply y. Okay. Um, the zeros and zeros, the zero terms cancel out, so minus 0 times 0. Okay. We can just disregard them, but don't forget the two thirds on the outside. Okay. So let's actually sort of try and simplify that. That is. Uh, 0 0.5 squared over 3 plus 2 or 2y over 3. Actually, 0 0.5 squared is a quarter, so this is 1 over 12. This ter the entire thing here is 1 over 12. Okay. So let's bring that back to the other part. So what we're going to do now is integrate it with respect to y. Okay, so 1 over 12 plus 2y over 3 dy. And let's be clear about this. That there is the inner part. It's the solution to the inner part up there. Okay, so let's keep going at this. Um, the answer is y over 12 uh, plus 2y squared over 6 evaluate from 0 0.5 to 0. So essentially we're just evaluating it at 0 0.5. That would work out to be not 0.5 over 12 plus 2 times 1 over 4 over 6. Okay, so little bit of arithmetic to sort of sort out here. Um, so 1 over 24 plus uh, 2 times a quarter is Let's just say so that's not half over one half over six is uh, two over twenty four. Okay, so that it works out to be three over twenty four, and that actually works out to be one eighth. Yeah, there's other ways of doing it also, but like uh, if you could draw it, go in baby steps, it's the best option, even though you sometimes like have to uh, be very deliberate. Okay, so that's enough of that. That's the joint probability distribution.